Princess, you have to get back in good health soon. Yes. seeing Chen Shi like this. I really am soft-hearted. Watch her closely. Report everything you see to me. Understood, my Lord Chancellor. This poor no matter. We have to resolve it quickly. cities up ahead. Lord Shao, hmm? when we pretended to be defeated, do you think Fan Zhao knew what we did? Zhang Ye didn't seem to notice it. My lord, don't you think Fan Zhao's a rather strange What's man? What's so strange? He encouraged us to launch this attack. Exactly. If we conquer Shang City, Zhang Yu would have to keep his promise and not tear our army apart. Isn't that the opposite of what Fan Zheng wanted? So why did he approve of our attack on Cheng City? Doesn't it all seem strange? Why would it be? Fan Teng knows Chang Yu very well. He knows that Chang Yu won't go back on his word, so there's no point in him getting angry. Uh, from what I know of Fan Zheng, even if he offends Chang Yu, he'd still go after what he wants. I really don't understand him. Hmm. Let's not worry too much. We'll understand when we get there. Yeah! Let's go!
casualties at the Chin incurred. My lord, about 500. We've lost just as much. It's an intense battle. My lord! My lord! No shout! My lord, we have a situation! What situation? An army of 10,000 Chin soldiers. Chin soldiers? An army of 10,000? From where? They came from the direction of Kang Fu. The first wave of soldiers have already reached Shang City. Funchen must have known all along that those soldiers were coming. That's why he agreed to this attack. That old bastard. He wanted to get us all killed from the start. My lord, we should ask for help. Who should we ask? General Shang Yu. Do you think he'll help us? Do you think Von Tang will? What should we do then? Take the city, no matter what. My lord, we have no choice but to fight. No! Yes, sir! Let's go! Cao Tan, yes. take all my men and join the fight! Yes, sir! Everyone, follow me! <laughs> Like Fonteng, meant for all of us to die here. Yes. Which is why we should stop fighting this battle. If we continue, we will all die before we conquer the city. Are you saying we should retreat immediately? Yes. If we retreat, where would we go? Hmm? Also, what would we become? Refugees? A gang of outlaws? Right now, we have too many dead and wounded. These men are our brothers from Mangdong Mountain. We shouldn't be losing them. Shang Yu may not have divided us, but how many will be left? There's no way out for us. Yes. It's true that we have no way out, but we can't retreat. If we don't, we die. Retreat, and we may still die. We have no other choice. To keep up the attack and take over Shang City. That way we can do justice to our men both dead and alive. This battle is one we must win. <laughs>
price was too high for this victory. Too many of our men have died, including those we brought from Mangdong Mountain. We can't lose any more. If this continues, we won't even need Van Zhang to divide us, because we won't have any men left. Find the bodies of our brothers. We'll return them to their families, bury those who know them. Sooner or later, we'll come back to pay our respects. My lord, you've secured all the hostages and sealed up all the storehouses. How many hostages? We have about 5,200. That's it. We've suffered too many losses. Divide them into three groups, and use them to fill our ranks. Lord Shao, we can't keep any of them. We have to turn them all over to Shang Yu, as well as all of the food. Why should we? We took the city at the expense of our brother's lives! I don't understand! What? I... Ugh. We can't keep them. Give them all to Shang Yu. Also... Over there on that wall, put up the Shang family banner. Well, this is a surprise. That Liuji actually took Shang City. I was already thinking of holding his funeral. Changdiang. The Duke of Pei has great ambition. It must have been hard for him to take the city, but since it was the only way for him to keep all his men, he spared no effort to conquer it. It's as if he wants his own army. We need to get rid of him before he creates trouble. Mr. Fan. It's not like I particularly like him. However, his goal and ours are not the same. That's to destroy the Qin Empire. I think we should work together with like-minded people. We need their strength to win. Lord Shang Lian, such words are not those a conqueror would utter. I think it's very naive, am I right? Hmm. You mean well, sir. I know that, but I have good reasons for this. The Duke took Shang City, and yet he has handed over all the prisoners of war, as well as the plunder to us. This act is commendable. With the world as chaotic as it is now, we should support those who support us. If you ask me, I think Uncle's right. Hmm. Mr. Fan, hmm? I will leave the decision on Liu Bang's reward to you and my nephew. Talk it over. I will not interfere. What would you do if we disagree? <laughs> You're wise to think far ahead, sir. <laughs> but of course, we'll take your advice. <laughs> Shang Yu, make sure you listen to Mr. Fan. Yes. <laughs> and what is your opinion on this matter? As we said, Victoria's soldiers should be rewarded.
represents our elite soldiers. Represents Ying Bu's army of tens of thousands of soldiers. Although they cannot break rocks, they're effective enough. Indeed. Now, what would happen if you tie these two armies together? Will they be as effective? Huh? It's true, we'll have more control. However, if you force elite soldiers to fight with ordinary ones, Will either one be effective? General Shang, this is not the way you should be thinking. Before long, that one, our army will grow to more than 50, 60,000 men. In the future, we might even have 300,000. But these 300,000 may not all be from Chu. They might include men from all over the land. What kind of leader will you be then? The commander-in-chief or the vanguard of the battlefield? All these titles don't really matter to me. What I want are the elite soldiers of Chin. The elite among the elite, with Chang as their general. We are going to have a truly magnificent battle. Enough. Any general would have said the same thing. But you're more than that. You're the commander-in-chief. You need to see far. I'm sure Chang Han sees differently. How he thinks doesn't matter. I will find Chang Han and end his life. Well, if that's how you think, what more can I say? Lord Shang Liang has appointed you Commander-in-Chief. It's entirely up to you whether you would listen to my advice or pretend. I didn't say anything at all. Hm. How stubborn. <laughs> Lord Shao. After our attack on Shang City, how many men have we lost in total? Counting those injured, more than a thousand men, 700 were seriously injured. If we and the 2,000 General Shang you gave us, we're back to where we started. I don't really care much about numbers. However, I do care about the men we have lost. who came with us from Mangdang Mountain. We've lost far too many of them. We can't afford any more deaths. That's what worries me the most. My lord, we led the charge in every battle. The most formidable enemies were thrown at us. After each battle, we're the ones with the most losses. We have the most deaths and injuries. At this rate, it won't matter if we're divided. The men who followed us from Mangdung will all be dead. My lord, we have to find a way to protect ourselves somehow. Hmm. That's exactly what I was thinking about. But how do we do it? Hey, would you happen to know if... General Shang has anything specific planned for? The 5,000 prisoners from Shang City? Why? Are you going to ask General Shang for them? We mustn't do that. Why not? My lord, Fan Zhang regards you as a threat. He's very suspicious of you. He's been constantly advising the Shangs to split our men up, but fortunately, his suggestions have been rejected. I'm afraid if we take those prisoners, we'll be courting disaster. It's not worth the risk. Do you think... so I could build up my own army. Come on, Lord Chao. You said you know me well. You still have a long way to go before you can understand how I think. Kindly explain, my lord. I'm not a very greedy man. Lord Chao, think about it. 
Was it our valiant soldiers who won the battle over Shan City? Or was it perhaps our brilliant strategy? It was neither. We were able to emerge victorious only because the guards defending Shan City wanted to survive. They didn't want to die. That's why they opened the city gates and surrendered to us. If they thought for even a moment that they would inevitably be killed whether they surrendered to us or not, do you think they would have opened those gates? Would they have stopped fighting? If they hadn't, then fought until the bitter end. I'm afraid all of us would be dead by now. Zhang Liang said before he left us. He said not to disagree with General Shang or display any discontent. And especially not to disobey. Please keep that in mind. Let's not think about that for now. The first thing I must do is to save those 5,000 prisoners, as many of them as possible. I have to save as many as I can. These are people. They aren't herds or cattle, nor are they just numbers. You know, I've been thinking all day. What drives us to wage war? Is it to win? Or is it to just kill? an audience. Let him in. Yes, sir. General Shang. Rise. Thank you, General. Spare the lives of those 5,000 men. General Shang, since long ago, killing captives has been seen as inauspicious. Doing so will bring disaster. I don't want to hear this nonsense. The Qin soldiers have brought us disaster. I fight them because I seek justice, especially for the kingdom of Chu. General, they are indeed despicable. While they have their armor on, they are our enemies. But without it, they're merely commoners. Also, these are 5,000 lives. General, please reconsider. How many soldiers did you lose? 2,000. And how many prisoners are there? 5,000. Then take those 5,000 prisoners and rebuild your army. Huh? You're right, General. After all, it's common practice to give the prisoners to the victor. Duke of Bay, you've lost many of your men. Take the captives and then add them to your ranks. I refuse. But why? Why do you refuse? The general isn't dividing your troops. He's even giving you more men. Isn't that a good thing? Why won't you accept? You'll have more soldiers, won't you? I'm under the command of General Shang Yu. That's why all prisoners of war 
as well as the spoils must go to him. As his subordinate, I cannot accept. You don't want them? No. If you give them to me, I will kill them. General. Not long ago, I made a rule. Whoever hears choose war drums must surrender. Otherwise, none will be spared. Do you remember that? I do. If I take those men and I don't kill them, no one would ever take my words seriously. No one would fear the warriors of Shang. Tell me, should I kill them? Should I kill them? You should.
Baker's shown you as a strong army. He thinks he can act like a beast, devouring everything. Sooner or later, he'll devour himself as well. How did we win this battle? 3,000 fearless warriors conquered Chin soldiers who were so afraid to die. In the end, the ones who feared death <laughs> are dead. And the ones who don't still live. Lord Shao, huh? do you fear death? What do you mean, my lord? Afraid to die? Depends on what I die for. Luan. Yes. Are you afraid to die? No, I'm not. Tobo. I'd gladly die for you, my lord. You? I'm not. We don't fear death. death. Many people have died here. My lady, don't look anymore. No, I want to remember how Shang slaughtered the innocent. Gods in heaven, why did you allow such cruelty? My lady, please promise me, as long as you're alive. You will continue to do your work. made a rule that enemies who hear the sound of our war drums and do not surrender would all be killed why did you not say anything when we were talking about what to do with the prisoners answer because you had already decided to kill them am i right do you enjoy killing that much does this kind of savage cruelty Run in the blood of our family! You have taught me that rules must be obeyed. The Chin are hated by the world because they kill the innocent! Tell me, do you want the Shang family to be hated by the world as well? No. But I want every Chin soldier to know how serious I am. If they dare resist me, the same will befall them. 
no exception. Guards, tie him up for a week so he can repent. General, what? Listen well. With what you did, you've lost something. Something very important. What's that? Humanity. Really? But how? Tonight, at the house with the broken tile roof. You should go alone and meet him there. Make sure nobody sees me. I'll leave by the back door. Understood. Wait! Princess! Princess! Chongxin will meet you at the house with a broken tile roof. That place is deserted, so no one will know. Then bring me there immediately. I'll wait for him there. Uh, the thing is, Princess, I can't allow you to wait there on your own. It doesn't seem appropriate. I'll take you there right away. Mingwa, her highness is sleeping. The princess ran a fever, so Chancellor Chao ordered us to bring her some medicine and make sure she drinks it. Sin so 